And obviously when you're working in topology mode, um, you lose a bit of volume because um, basically the new geometry is always a slightly sort of thinner than the underlying geometry. So um, this is actually relatively easy to fix and I'm just going to show you one way that it can be done. I'm just going to go back to the normal um, modeling viewport and uh, bring back my uh, background geometry and I'm just going to hide the modeling tools. Um, so if you go to fall off linear and just drag a linear fall off going say down the length of this arm you want it to sort of poke out from the fingers slightly um, and let's see I'm probably going to reverse it actually so that it's stronger at, the effect is stronger at the top and uh, weaker at the bottom and now I'm going to go to deform and activate my push tool and just drag in the viewport. So what I want is for the push to be stronger at the top, at the top of the arm, because I don't want the fingers to, to get really, really fat. And uh, what you can do here is you can interactively um, adjust your fall off, so you can control exactly how much thickness you're adding to the fingers, you see. Um, here there's no thickness being added, and then the further out I go, the more thickness is being added. I don't want really fat sausage fingers, so let's uh, let's try something like this, maybe maybe actually make the effect slightly less strong. Um, I'm going to drop the tool, press escape to clear the fall off and uh, hide my background geometry and then shift tab so I can have a look at the topology I've created. So I think the mesh is pretty clean. I mean obviously I would go around and tweak it to uh, to make the uh, the edges follow the anatomy a little bit better but in terms of actually creating the geometry you can see it's very very quick and obviously you can still come in and adjust the topology with the regular modeling tools or with a topology pen.